What's good, what's good, what's good, everybody? It's May Money back in the building for another review, not reaction, review to The 100, Season 7, Episode 3, entitled False Gods. Um, let's get right into it. about this episode uh I think it's kind of like one of my least favorite episodes I've seen in a long time honestly it just kind of was boring a little bit repetitive um and I mean don't get me wrong there are things that I did enjoy about this episode and we'll get into those but just on a scale of like what the word like the episodes of the hundred that I've seen previously, not so great. Um, I just really, uh, first of all, the this season seven has been first very confusing, um, and like they have so many plot lines that are going on, storylines, and characters that are even being introduced as well into the storyline so I just think that um it's really convoluted like episode two took me a little bit of time to um process and the more that I watched it the more that I loved it um I just didn't understand it at all the first time second time I was like okay 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 third time I was like oh I get it I love it I'm down um third episode I the more that I watch it or watch other people's reactions to it uh I like and the more it's just, it's just not it just does doesn't hit home for me by any means personally if you like the episode great but for me didn't work out and I'll let you know why don't worry um before we get into that uh be sure to like comment on what you think of the episode, share the video, um, subscribe to my channel for all the new updates and all that whoop de whoop whoop whoop. All right. Anyway, so um, let's start with uh, what? Where should we start? Let's start with like Russell and Shade Hedda and that whole thing. So. I've been kind of waiting for this whole Shade Heather thing to kind of like show itself since season six. And it just really hasn't paid off for me when it comes to interest or like anything. It's just kind of like he's there and he's just been there and he's been there and he's been there and he's been there. And now, and then we left off with this fool eating a cookie. So I'm like, like when is he gonna like come into play here and like we go into the anomaly next episode i'm pretty sure from the promos uh, like all the people that we care about so when is shade shady gonna come into play he's gonna be eating cookies like what is gonna happen with him so i'm just a little confused about that and it's getting a little frustrating to kind of have to sit and wait for something that i feel like should have either happened a long time ago or should never happen at all. They're just kind of gotten to that point. Why I got this little sticky do? <laughs> just leave it alone. Anyway. Um, and then, like, I love J.R. Bourne. And so he's really the only reason why I'm kind of captivated with it. Because I feel like, like, I'm kind of like, okay, we have a 14 episodes left. Um we ha something has to happen you can't just have jr born take over the role of shay hedda basically and not give him a good storyline that's kind of how i'm feeling about it like i'm like come on like give him something good or kill him off and let him perform and do his performance and die i think that would be awesome like Either way, he would kill it and it would add to the story, but now they just kind of have him lingering. So it's, yeah. Um, and sorry, I'm kind of hurrying through this video a little bit. It just got really busy for me around the house and everything. So 
but I'm gonna do my best to serve y'all because I, you know, this is a hundred community and we've been in here for a long time and um, we love this show and I love this show and I want to talk about it with you guys. Secondly, the one crew, everything, oh, and Jordan. If they send him in one more time to talk to freaking Russell or Shadehead or whoever the, whoever's in there, I'm irritated with Jordan. He is so dry and boring and I like the actor, but his character is so irritating to me now. I mean, they didn't do anything. We just forgot about him last season completely. And then now he's just, it don't make no sense. And then I just don't even want to get into Jordan. We'll just leave that to the side. Let me know what you think about that because it's just really getting old with him. Like they better do something with Jordan quick. Because his character is just so not the hundred. And then he had that line in this episode where it was like, it's not me asking, it's my father's son asking. What the f- what does that even mean? Like, I was so confused by that. I just think the writing was really off this episode. I don't know if it's just me, but it's just something didn't feel right and didn't really, like, click the way usually the 100 does. Um, and I'll get into that later and why I think that this is suffering. And I think you guys know why. Um, and why these first episodes are suffering. Um, and then, so Jordan's aside. And... Raven's part and Echo and Amori and everybody was my favorite part. And you know what? I loved the Allegis um, crew being back um, introduced into the story for something. And I'm actually, out of all the factions, the most interested in Allegis crew. They have, like, there's a lot of room to play with their story and the characters. And I'm like, I liked Hatch. Hatch, the um, dude that died when I was talking to Murphy, I liked their interaction. I liked their, you know, they they had kind of like these parallels with each other and I thought it was freaking awesome. And he, they just killed him off. And I was like, really? The one new character that, not just me, but everybody that I've talked to really was down to like stick around died. I was like, what? what? Like, I don't care about Trey. I don't care about whatever that girl name is that was talking to Alyssa. I don't even care about Gaia anymore. She's getting on my nerves. I don't like those scenes with... We'll just... We'll get there. And anywho, it's just... Like, the Allegis crew is the most interesting to me to be added into the factions just because, first of all, they're very rugged. They don't... You know, if you piss them off, they don't play no shit. But honestly, they were kind of just chilling, minding their own business until Raven initiated that. And I did enjoy the story of Raven, you know, kind of switching and having to make this tough decision and whatnot. But um, I think the story... I mean, I thought it was actually pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I think that whole section was really well done. Amori played her part. The actress played her part really well. Murphy blew it out the water as always. Raven, you know, I'm like, I like the change in her character um, and this dilemma that she's going through. I'm interested to see how it works out for her um, later on. Um, hopefully that, that carries on. But, and I like how, um, like, the Allegis crew was tied in and Hatch was, you know, willing to do what had to be done. And I feel like he had an inkling that he was probably going to die, um, which sucked. And I like how uh, Nikki, I think her name was, Nikki, the other Allegis woman, came in and was really upset, you know. And um, I feel like they kind of have had the short end of the stick for a while and we just don't know about it, which I'm interested to see but um that was all good stuff the only part that I didn't like unless moving on it 
pays off in some way to have this that storyline with the reactor um like how many times are you gonna radiate a freaking planet how many times are you gonna do it please how many freaking times is he gonna radiate a planet like it's an old story so i kind of wish they would have cho chosen something else for raven to have to have that uh moral dilemma but it worked but it'll only work if they move on with it in, in a way that it carries on or it changes their character in some way. And it, um, you know, brings the Allegis crew into the, the fold a little bit, if you get what I'm saying. But that was all good. And I'm interested to see how, I am interested to see how these, all these factions work. And how they mesh, or like now that one crew done split off again with the the, the factions within one crew, um, so I'm just kind of thinking about that a little bit. I'm just curious, and I just we don't have no answers, and I feel like we should have had a little bit more information about that in season six, and we never got it, and it just feels really like I'm getting nervous that we're gonna run out of time to explain all of this stuff that we've been introduced to and that's where I'm getting nervous for for season seven being the final season um let me know what you guys think about that also first of all Gaia and Clark are they them scenes are so boring <sighs> like how many times are you gonna gonna be sitting on the porch are you okay no. Are you okay? No. Is Maddie okay? No. Will we ever be okay? No. And then you got another whole nother scene with the same shit and nobody done asked. Like, I just think that shit is dry and boring and needs to go. Where is Clark at? Where is she going? When is she going? pop off again we need Clark like real Clark like Juan Hada Clark I know she's trying to do better I know it but like this whole like Gaia thing is just boring like it's boring it's just boring why are they sit why do we have to watch them sitting on a porch talking I can go sit on my porch and go talk about my feelings if I really felt like it anywho I'm done with that. I want to see, like, moving forward, I just want to see all the clans come, either come together or, like, like all our people come together. I want, and I will get into this later, I want next episode to really get me interested in the anomaly. I want all our people to, <laughs> I want all our people, all right, I will. All right, sorry, I got a text message. I want all of our people to come through together as the delinquents or as the original characters all be together and go into the anomaly because we got Bardos, we got all these different planets, we got all these different time zones. Like, let's go there. I'm done with Sanctum. I don't care about Sanctum. I don't care about Shade Hedda unless he gonna show himself and do something. Like, why are you over here eating cookies, bro? thought she was the greatest champion ever like it's boring and so like it's it's just like either do something with him or not and then like I want to see the anomaly I want to see Octavia I want to see what's going on over there I want to see Bardos I want to see where Bellamy is speaking of Bellamy let's just get into it This show is really, really struggling without Bellamy's character and without Bob. I, I swear to God, I ain't gonna lie. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. They cannot get to season five or no, episode five any, any faster. They really can't. Like just one more episode without him. And it will be, I think, will be through the woods because you can really, really tell that 
they need him in this show. And, I, you know, I know he going through what he going through. I don't even care about the hoopla, whatever, whatever, whoop, whoop, whoop. He need to get his ass back on this show because <laughs> it is, like, not working. You cannot... You cannot, first of all, he's the male lead. You cannot carry without him. Like, you need, I know, like, yeah, he went somewhere. And I swear to God, if he don't have no interesting storyline this, like, this season, or if they just kind of cast him away, it's a damn shame. Like, like, honestly, Bob, like, for real, bro. Uh, we miss you. We need you back. Like, season seven is not floating without you. Uh, no pun intended. Like, we don't want that type of float. We want this type of, like, floating. <laughs> float upward, not out into the space. Okay. Um, But, nah, like, it's just, you can really see the show and, like, like, it's just not working quite as well. The second episode was great. Like, that worked. Because we got to see something. But the Sanctum stuff just feels like... Not even filler, but like a waste of time and repetitive. And it's... And it sucks because I love these characters. I love the actors. I love everybody in the show. But... Like, and I, lo I love this show. It's literally my favorite show. I would not be on camera right now if I didn't love this show. Um, but it's, it's struggling right now without you, Bob or Bellamy or whoever you want to call them. Um, you could really tell. And I mean, I just can't wait for season five to finally see him again because like, I want to know where he went, got ghosted off to and help put, do CPR like you did to Clark and bring this show back to life. Like for real, I'll be so upset. Like. And I ain't even gonna cry about it. I just think it was a, it's a goddamn shame. Like, at, come on. You can't even take a picture of Homeboy and put him on a poster? Anywho. That's how I feel about this episode. I just was not pleased. And the more and more I, like, watch it or watch other people's reactions, the more and more I'm just like, this episode was, like... Mm, for me like there's the acting was great there are characters I liked and everything but it just felt repetitive it felt like the same old same old that we've been watching since freaking every every time we radiating somebody everybody gotta get radiate radiation 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 radiate ra destroy that planet destroy it again destroy it a third time destroy a new planet like come on bro this shit's old let's go to the anomaly that's where we want to go I want to go where Bellamy is because he's in the interesting part of the story, okay? Anywho, I'm sorry that this uh, <laughs> reaction felt a, or review felt a little rushed or anything. Um, it's, I am a little busy and have a lot going on. But I also just was meh about, like, just felt really deflated by this episode. I wasn't even excited by the promo because I knew we were going back to Sanctum. And I don't want to go back to Sanctum. Like, I just... If they left that whole part of the story out all the way to the end and just focused on Bardos and the anomaly, I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't even notice. I really wouldn't. Unless they got some shit exciting that they're going to pull out. But other than that... Anywho... Let me know what you guys think. I want to know your honest opinion. Um, I am excited for next episode because we it does seem to be coming together more, which we want. We want Clark to know that and ask about where Bellamy is. First of all, they're best friends. Like, she acting like she over here best friends with Guy over here getting all deep. Girl, you better go get your freaking, your man and go get him. And go talk to him about your emotions and losing your mom and shit because no, okay? Anywho, um, yes, yeah, so let me know what you thought about the episode. 
I am excited for the next episode. Let's uh, talk about it. Um, Wednesday will be here faster than we know. Hopefully, I'm sure, I'm sure that next episode will be a lot better. I'm excited for it. So just be sure to like, comment, please comment, share, subscribe, do all that. Follow me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Um, and take care of yourselves out there. Be cool, be kind. Um, and may we meet again. Peace.